Are you looking out for a snacking option that this recipe is for you? Hi everyone, welcome to Homemade. This Bajra Green Moong Laddus has no ghee, no sugar to it. They are not only healthy but so delicious. Let's get started. Wash and soak the Bajra for at least 7 to 8 hours. Once the soaking is done, add the Green Moong. Wash the Green Moong along with the Bajra and drain all the water. Once the bajra and moong dal are washed and drained, we need to drain the excess water for that on a strainer with a muslin cloth. We'll add the bajra and set it aside for at least half an hour. Once we get rid of the excess water, now time to dehydrate them. For that, we will spread the bajra and moong dal on a wide plate, either sun dry them or oven dry them. Once they are completely dried, time to roast them. Roast them in 4-5 to five batches little quantity at a time. Roast till they change color and release a nice aroma. Once roasted, transfer it in a wide plate and let them cool completely. If you like the content of my videos, consider subscribing my channel. Once roasted, let the bajra and moong dal cool down completely. While the pan is still hot, we'll roast some almonds and peanuts on a low flame till they change color and start popping up. Once the almonds and peanuts are roasted, in that add the pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Roast them for a minute and then add white sesame seed. Roast the sesame seeds for 30 seconds and then take it out in a plate and let it cool down completely. Once the nuts and seeds are completely cooled down, transfer them in a mixer grinder jar. Blend them with salt until you get some nuts and seed butter. Once the butter is done, set it aside. Meanwhile, deseed some dates and keep it ready for later use. Now time to grind the bajra and moong dal flour. Grind it to a fine powder in 2 or 3 batches. Divide the flour in 2 batches and grind each batch of flour again with the dates. Grind till the flour and the dates are well combined and you get a dough-like consistency. Take it out in a plate and repeat the same process for the other part of the flour. Once the flour and the dates are grounded well, transfer them in a wide deep bowl and then add the nuts and seed butter along with the cardamom powder. Mix everything until well combined. Once everything is mixed, start binding the laddus. They will bind easily. You can store this laddu in an airtight container at room temperature up to a month. If you like this recipe, share it with your friends and family. Eat homemade and stay healthy. Bye-bye. God bless.